ITU is hosting a global summit on youth and ICT in September this year in Costa Rica and today marks a first step in our engagement with uh, young audiences. It's very important for us that this event uh, involves young people in its delivery, in its production, in its design, in, uh, in how the outcomes are developed and how the, uh, the themes of the event are developed. Um, and so young people will be actively involved in the organisation of this event. The importance of including vo uh, youth voices in this subject is critical in shaping the MDG's goals post-2015 because often they do not have the power or the access to come and represent themselves and they're the ones shaping the future. In the past it was enough to say that something the, is the right policy because that's the way that the ideology dictates it or that's what the government says is the correct thing to do. And people my age, we, we've grown up in the internet age, we, we know that that data is out there so we want to see the proof, we want to see the data to it. What we were proposing is to use social media and online platforms to allow people to have access to their government, their, its decisions and its policies, um, propose their own ideas um, as a way to initiate debate and discussion. In recent years, we realized with the world, more than half of the world's population, under 30, we, we need to have them in the conversation, we need to have them engaged because they are the ones that will be driving the world forward. A lot of people here today come from very different backgrounds and have been able to provide very differing views on one topic. And that has been very constructive indeed to get a whole picture. Entre las soluciones que, que tratamos es eh, crear un proyecto en el que podríamos reunir a jóvenes que estén interesados en la creación de proyectos eh, verdes y darles asesoría para poder eh, eh, de cierta manera que desarrollen su proyecto pero bajo criterios verdes. for the future of tomorrow and we have to be involved right now in order to kind of understand what are the challenges we have to face and kind of find solutions together. We are actively seeking young advocates to stand up for the role of ICT in the UN's post-2015 sustainable development frameworks. As the United Nations system begins to develop its priorities for a post-2015 world, it's very important that we have access to technology and ICT referenced in these frameworks, not least of all for young people but for all the world's population.